Welcome back to Retro Rewire. My name is JJ. We are in Nagoya, Japan. Business brings me out here, so I got to take advantage and film an In the Hunt episode. And if you're out here, definitely take the time to visit Nagoya Castle. It is absolutely breathtaking. And I just want to add, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Almost 70% of you are not subscribed, so help ensure the future of the channel. Hit the subscribe button. It's free. Let's go ahead and take the Lego train to our destination. And it's pretty cool that each car has its own little theme. And where are we going? We're heading to the Book Off Super Bazaar, um, not too far from Nagoya Station, actually. And Retro Rewire Game Tours, I'll leave a link in the description. Hit me up for a tour of Akihabara and other areas of Japan. And we're going to start at the Game Showcase. We're also going to take a look at soundtracks, guides, hardware, and of course, the junk section. So let's go ahead and hit it under, let's get it underway here. We have a Super Mario RPG coming in at 2,900 yen, a few copies of that, Super Bomberman 5, and then we have Gundam Wing for 6,600 yen. It is missing the manual, and you get a 10% discount, which is a little bit on the, I, I was kind of expecting like a 50% off uh, discount, at least that's what we were seeing at the Mayabashi uh, Book Off Bazaar there. And upon closer examination in this uh, display case there's not going to be anything that really stands out all that much but there are some quality titles in here like that super r type although it is plagued by slowdown but nonetheless it is a great uh game we got some star soldier action we got some valkyrie and a few other famicom games here with a few of them having various discounts because of you know certain damage missing manuals and whatnot and you know if you're interested here you could talk to the staff and they'll definitely open up the game so you could have a closer look. Here we have Double Dragon 2 for 8,100 yen. We got some Dragon Quest action here, a couple of copies there. And what else do we see? Some Chibi Gundam there. And then in the back, we have some Sailor Moon Super S with a 10% discount. 4,500 yen before that discount. And they do have a lot of this Mickey's Adventure there for 2,900 yen, as well as Aladdin. And then here we have, what is that, Rockman 5 on the side. And we'll take a closer look here and as you can see there is going to be a little bit of damage there and then we have some super mario bros 2700 yen they had two copies and i actually ended up picking up one it was missing the manual but apart from that it was pretty pristine and i could always find the manual at a later time so no biggie there and here we are taking a look at the loose cards now me personally i'm kind of done uh collecting uh loose cards it's only going to be for the higher end games that i'm just kind of priced out priced out of for a complete in box copy but for the most part i did end up selling a lot of my loose cards to make uh to raise money to get some of these games in a more complete form but here we have rockman x2 for 1500 yen and the interesting thing about you know some of those games as well as some of the ones that you're seeing here like this uh, rockman action here is that certain locations will actually have these games that are in the case as a part you know just in the regular uh gaming aisle so that could be um, for various reasons, you know, just kind of trying to fill up the case for whatever, you know, just to, it looks better when it's actually full. But what do we, I guess let's just focus on, on the positive here. We got some Konami action there. We have some Street Fighter 2010 for 5,900 yen. And then we have Final Fantasy here. And then what do we have in the back? Cobra Command for 1,500 yen. And then they did have various uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles games coming in at 3,200 uh, yen there. Forget the name of this one, but it's such a common game there. But there's the other Turtles game for 1,800. Then we have Genpei by old Namco or Namco as they were referred to back in the day. But yeah, the, the selection here, not, not too, too bad, but again, not too, too great. And that could be for various reasons, just, uh, I guess, a, a shortage of those uh, higher end games. So we have Turtles in Time there. We had some Super Bomberman 4. And then we have Lemmings for 1,500 yen. I've never actually played a Lemmings game, but um, it doesn't really call my attention. But I, I know some people are definitely after that series. And then we have Little Samson here for 27,000 yen before sales tax. And I do like that lime green color of the cart there. And then we have Ghostbusters for 1,500 yen. What else do we have here? This gun deck for 7,200 yen. Now that game seems to feature quite a bit of uh, parallax scrolling and then, you know, seeing that on the NES, that's definitely a sight to behold. And that's actually a game that I do want to get, but in a more complete fashion. What else do we have here? We got some Twin B3. We got a, like a Koei action or Koei strategy game there, I think. 
by Deco, and then we got um, some Capcom title here. I don't recognize it, and then we have another title which I'm not really familiar with, but let's keep making our way down this uh, bottom part of the showcase. We got some Kirby's Dreamland there for 3,900 yen with a 30% discount. And then we have uh, this Cosmic Epsilon. Look at this, for 7,200 yen. Definitely like that cover, and it seems to support 3D, the 3D glasses there. Then we got some Zelda action there for the color, and a variety of Pokemon games amongst um, Makaimura there for 4,100 yen with a 10% discount. Uh, that's a great game. Very, very difficult on the old Famicom, but still the artwork is awesome. And then here we have our loose Game Boy games. And, you know, speaking of loose cards, I still buy loose cards for the old Game Boy. And this is one that I've been priced at of this Ninja Gaiden for 2,700 yen. So I ended up picking that one up because in the box, that thing is like 40,000 yen. So definitely um, a lot more than I'm willing to pay. But still having in the loose cart, uh, not too bad. And it is a great game. And this one was also tempting Bonk for 1,500 yen. And that's going to be next to World Heroes 2 Jet for the same price and actually both of those games are ones that I'm very curious about and perhaps maybe add to my Game Boy collection in the future but let's make our way down the gaming aisle and all sorts of PlayStation stuff here but we're actually gonna start with the old GameCube as we just kind of uh, tilt the camera down so let's hit it here we got some Star Fox Assault for 1,500 yen and they had quite a bit of copies and they were all coming in at that price. Then we have this Capcom title which I haven't seen before. I'm not a GameCube uh, maniac so I don't know about all the library but this Bloody Roar I regret not picking that up. That would have been a, a great addition for the GameCube library but here we have Pikmin for 900 yen. Fairly clean copy as well. And then we have some FIFA 2002 for 900 yen. They also had, uh, or this is 2003, and then here is 2002, which was the World Cup uh, year for Korea and Japan. And then we have Biohazard Zero for 270 yen. That's definitely was one of the lowest prices that I've seen that game at. And then we have some Mario Kart Double Dash for 900 yen before sales tax, and that's going to be the same price for Luigi's Mansion. Now let's hit the PS1 games here. And again, um, nothing really that... It's to stand out, but nonetheless, they do have some solid titles. Now, this one I am kind of curious about because it looks like it's all Robit from the Jumping Flash series. But look, Pet and TV. have no idea what this is, but um, this collection is actually very good. Rolling Thunder, a Dragon Saber, and Wonder Momo. And then we have Pac-Man World here. Pretty cool cover there. And then we have some Gun Barrel, light gun game for 270 yen. That's actually not too bad of a price. And then we have R types for 5,000 yen, definitely lower than what you'll see in Akihabara by about, I don't know, 1,500 or so. So that's a worthy title. And then this one seems to be some kind of like mini game rhythm game. I've seen this one before, but I haven't played it. And I'm kind of curious looking at the, the screen uh, screenshots there, but we have Biohazard 2, the DualShock version for 900 yen twin goddesses for 1500 yen i believe this is like a, a quirky fighting game haven't played it myself but perhaps one day and then we have some more rockman action here for the ps1 and then x4 there coming in at 3200 yen that's definitely far far too high for that game as you could find it for about 480 and you don't really have to look too hard and then up above we have the rated z games which is a lot of rockstar games and um, a few Bethesda titles, which is usually the case, but they had some original Xbox titles. We have Panzer Dragoon Orta for 1,800 yen. It has a little bit of case damage, so it does have a 10% discount, but it seems to have the soundtrack included there. And then we have some Jet Set Radio Future. And when you see OG Xbox games, you're bound to see Metal Wolf Chaos for 12,000 yen, which seems to be the standard price for this game across multiple uh, book op shops in Japan. But that one also did get a HD remaster, and that's going to be far, far less expensive. Here we have um, Maverick Hunter X. That's a great remake of the, um, the first Mega Man X game. And then a lot of visual novels for the PSP. The PSP has an amazing library, but what you're seeing here, just a, a lot of visual novels. And I guess that was a big uh, genre for, for the platform. Here we have some Fate Tiger something for 270 by Capcom. And this could be like an action type of fighting game. 
Not really familiar with that. This is definitely worth it. Tekken Dark Resurrection for 270 as is Loco Roco. Great little platforming, puzzly type of game. And then we'll make our way into the PlayStation Vita titles, which again, it's going to be a lot of stuff that we've seen before. But sometimes we can be surprised. But a lot of visual novels like this Amnesia business for 480 yen. And there was a few Amnesia games on the PSP as well. But look at this normal world, school world, a whole bunch of worlds there. Then we have Fighting Climax for 270 yen. I haven't played this fighting game, but for 270 yen, I was a little bit curious. And then we have Killzone Mercenary, solid title on the, on the PlayStation Vita. And then Dragon's Crown, which I believe does have English voice acting. And this, I believe, also has full English language support, although this does suffer in the performance department. But let's make our way into the PlayStation 2 titles. But um, I guess real quickly, I just want to mention that I was out here on business and this was the very first stop um, a day before I had to report to work and uh, God hand here for 1,800. So I didn't get too crazy with my pickups because I knew I was going to be hitting up a lot of game shops. And I don't want to like uh, blow the budget at one location, if you know what I mean. But I did end up coming here at the end of my business trip and I did make more pickups. And if I got lucky because a few of them were actually still available. But here we have the Beat Mania special remixes disc, which usually is behind glass, especially at that price for 9,000 yen. And then we have some Ever Blue for 480, Arika and uh, Capcom which uh, they make the Street Fighter EX uh, games. Then we have some Namco action here for the old PlayStation 2, a box set here. And it looks like you get your soundtrack guide and the game. And I'm not really sure what this is. Kind of an interesting cover there. And then we have all res on the PS2. I've been playing this one recently. And 270 yen, that is fully in English. And then we have Army Men. Look at this, didn't, ex um, didn't expect to see that one there. And then we have some Taito Memories. And then Capcom's Classic Collection, which has risen in value a little bit. And the Taito Memories actually um, has dropped in value by a bit. Here we have Final Fantasy XII, the International Zodiac Job System disc, which adds full English voice uh, voices. But I believe all the menus are still in Japanese. And then here we have some Mega Ten Bundle with Devil Summoner as well as uh, Nocturne there. And what, uh, that's, a, that's a pretty mean cover too. And then we have Tales of Destiny on the old PS2. Looks like you get the game, some guidebook, and perhaps the soundtrack or the art book. That's pretty cool. Pretty solid there. And then we have all the loose cards and expect to see a lot of all the first party stuff. And then uh, there's also PlayStation 3 games in the mix here. But you're going to see a lot of the first party stuff with the cards as well as some solid third party uh, games in there. And typically the most expensive game or the most ex the, the highest priced games there are about a thousand five hundred yen more or less with the view of them even having a discount. But here are the complete in box games and it's going to be the same uh, the same thing that we've seen before. Nothing really special here, but nonetheless, you just never know. So we'll have a closer look here and see if there's anything that stands out. Well, actually, I do want to say like the Super Mario Kart, but more importantly, Super Mario World 4 was at a decent price, but 900 yen for that 10% discount. And then this is normally 2,700 yen in the Tokyo area. So 1,500 yen and then multiple discounts. I should have picked up a copy as I don't have one yet, but I definitely love the, the cover art there. 900 yen for Donkey Kong 3, Donkey Kong coming in at 480, typically one, two, and three, are 480 yen at the book offs near uh, around Saitama as well as in Tokyo. We got some Street Fighter 2 action there for 480 and then Yoshi's Egg here. Great puzzle game and this one looks pretty mint. And then we have Super Mario Bros 3. It has damage and it is missing the manual but at 15, 1591 that's actually not too bad on top of a discount and you get a discount. Here we got some like slot type of game for the old Super Fami. Star Fox coming in at 900 yen. Pretty awesome cover art there. Then our N64 title, Zelda, coming in at 1,800 yen. If you go to Hard Off, you might be lucky and find that for about 1,000 yen. 900 yen here for uh, Super Mario uh, Kart 64. And then we have Mario Party. And I do like that it has the original price sticker there. Look at that, 4,700 yen. And then we have uh, old Tetris here for the Game Boy. And this one actually looks pretty mint too. I should have picked that one up. The, the pricing uh, on it wasn't too bad considering the condition of it. And then we have some Pokemon there for the Game Boy Color. 
and that one you know not too bad a condition there and then we have some super mario bros for the game boy advance coming in at 900 yen then we have tetris s world haven't played this one but it could be good the old eight game boy advance and then we have some pet simulator type of game cute little puppies there on the cover and then some hamtaro action for 480 yen and then donkey kong look at that 3900 yen the original price 1800 yen pretty solid one there and then we have some wario land there another solid title on the old game boy and then here look at this look how sad there's only one pc engine game a few um, a few saturn games and then a a handful of uh, Dreamcast games. But Virtual Fighter 2, solid title at a solid price. Let's go ahead and check out some soundtracks. There's quite a bit to see here, and we're gonna hit things off pretty hard here as there is a freaking awesome title. Look at this, Street Fighter 02, the soundtrack, 3,600 yen off cross two discs. I almost picked this bad boy up, but like I, like I said, I just had gotten here. I just arrived and I didn't wanna blow my budget. But we got some KOF 97 as well as 98 for 1,600 yen. All, the, all of these soundtracks so far were super, super tempting. We have some Sword Art Online, the music collection. Look at that. It's a pretty thick uh, collection there. And then we have some Xeno Gears coming in at 1,300 yen. And this is going to be two discs. And that one, I haven't seen that one before. And then we have the Knights. I believe this was the sequel that was released on the Wii or at least the soundtrack. And then we have some near automata piano collection that one could be good and then we have some tales of games we have vesperia there and then abyss which we've seen this one quite a few at uh, quite a few book ops and coming in at 900 yen across four discs here we have final fantasy 7 reunion the orchestra version for 900 yen not too bad and a pretty cool cover final fantasy 5 coming in at 1300 yen with a 10 percent discount and then we have this dracula collection of circle of the moon and aria of sorrow we've seen this one before and this one was super super tempting castlevania chronicle akumajo dracula that's probably my favorite one i almost bought this bad boy but i had to wait but and i and, and i ended up uh, not getting it because of the price i think i found it a little bit cheaper online i have yet to buy it but that's definitely on my list and then we have devil may cry 3 the original soundtrack this is going to be a three disc set and that's a pretty cool uh, slipcover there, I have to admit. And then we have Part 4 soundtrack coming in at seven, 720 yen. And that's going to be across two discs. But yeah, the, uh, and there was definitely a lot more than I showed. Definitely worth browsing that soundtrack uh, section. But here we are. Let's go ahead and take a look at some guidebooks. And again, there's going to be some pretty sweet guides. And here we have Valkyrie Profile 2. And this is the final guide, and it's pretty thick, probably because it has all the stats on all the enemies in the game. And then we have this eco one. This one was really tempting at 500 yen. In fact, let's go ahead and take a sneak peek at it. And this is what you're getting yourself into if you decide to pick one of these up. It was tempting, but I decided against it. And then we have this soul cradle for the old PS1, I believe. We have uh, Super Monkey Ball 2 for the GameCube, and we'll have a sneak peek at that one, too. So you guys can get an idea of uh, how the guides are. Some of them are pretty neat because they have additional artwork. But here we have Summon Night 2. I believe that was a PS2 game. We have Star Ocean First Departure. And some of these are super cheap, like 300 yen for Zelda Majora's Mask. And we will take a little sneak peek inside. But pretty solid guide here. And then we have some Skyward Sword, 1,400 yen. And they had another one coming in at 750. I like the cover on that one. And then we have Smash Bros for 500 yen. Look at that for the N64. And then we have the last story for 900 yen. Now this one is super solid. Look at this Code Veronica with that textured cover. Absolutely beautiful for 500 yen. And I meant to pick this one up, but I was at the store for so long that I completely forgot. But we have Of The End for 1,100 yen. We have some Snake Eater action for 350 yen with the Obi card. And we will have a sneak peek in here. But some of these guides, I'm telling you, they're they're definitely addicting. Even this one, this Luigi's Mansion, for 220 yen, and I believe this is a better guide than the one that I purchased. Look at that. It looks like a coloring book. But pretty cool, that one. Pretty solid, I would say. And then we have some Langrizzer, something edition, and then we have Biohazard 4. This is the GameCube edition, and that thing is pretty thick. I should have picked that one up, too, in retrospect. But look at that. You get all the stats 
all the maps, all the all the secrets. We have Biohazard, the Umbrella Chronicles, which I, lo I love that blood splattering. And then we have um, another Umbrella Chronicles. I believe one was for the PlayStation 3 and one is for the Wii, if I'm not mistaken. But here we have an AC adapter for a few PS3 peripherals, which I haven't seen this before. And that one looks to be sealed. But you're going to see all sorts of controllers, cables, definitely worth... Uh, worth uh, at least uh, skimming through this section. And uh, here's the Super Famicom Wii Classic controller, which I believe was highly sought after way back in the day. But now it's just uh, kind of chill and relaxing there uh, amongst all the other controllers. But here we have a PS3 Super Slim. And I'm not really sure what game this could be, but I have seen that one before. Here's one in the box coming in at 12,000 and some change. And then about 10,000 for the regular Slim at 160 gig. So not too bad. Well, I don't know if that's uh, really good or bad, but we got some Wii U amongst some clone systems here. And then we have our PlayStation 2 Slims. And a lot of these are going to be 7,000 series. And it starts at 7,255. And then we have an Orange Spice Cube in the box. A little bit a little bit mangled there, but they, had a, they also had a black one and a silver one. And we will see more GameCube. Um, action in the junk section so stay tuned for that and then we have one without the box coming in at 6,346 but you do get the controller and all the cables 7,255 for the lone Dreamcast and uh, I want to say that's kind of pricey there for the old Dreamcast but who knows maybe things are changing maybe they're not as uh, bountiful as before but here we have an assortment of N64s we have the top loader coming in at 13,455 you do get the AC adapter and some cables. And then we have a couple of Super Fami systems. Let's go ahead and hit up the showcase. And we're going to start with the handhelds here. Quite a bit of handhelds. Well, actually, let's start with the Amiibos down below. Or the, the expansion pack. A lot of those are coming in at 4,073 yen. And then here we have an assortment of Amiibos with all Richter for 900 yen. That was actually super tempting there. And then we have some Kirby action there. And then we have Diddy Kong. Who else? We have some some Mario in the back. And then this Pokemon Go Plus. Have no idea what that could be, but there you go. If that's what you're looking for, they got it here behind the glass. And then this Game Boy Micro, eighteen thousand yen, but it does appear a little bit rough. As uh, and then we here we have the the old school uh, GBA for six thousand and some change, and that's going to be amongst a few Game Boy Advance SP systems. And it looks like the price is starting at 8164 before sales tax with a variety of uh, discounts for most likely for damage. A lot of, if they're behind the glass, these are going to be working, but you just want to check to see how scuffed they are. And the screens and the buttons look to be intact, so it could be the outer cover that's just a bit scratched. And then we have some Game Boy Color units for 7255 That's as much as the boxed GameCube. What do you guys think about that? But here we have our 3DS systems, which they're a little bit higher. In Saitama, the average price seems to be 6,300 yen. But some of these do have some pretty nice discounts. Look at that, 2,000 yen off. And then it has some notes and it just kind of says what the issue is. A lot of them are just going to be scuffed. And they might not include the AC adapter. Then we had some 2DS action. And then we have this pink new 3DS XL for 15,273 before sales tax. And then just a whole bunch of more of uh, 3DS uh, systems here. A lot of the XL. I do like the new 3DS, but I like it in the regular size more. That one just fits so well in my hands. And then here we have the new 2DS XL. And then we have some Game & Watch action. And then the mini systems up above. And then we'll make our way into the Switch showcase. A lot of OLED Switch and then a lot of the first generation one as well. And some switch light down below. We have the retro freak coming in at a uh, freak coming in at twenty three thousand yen. That is going to be new according to the sticker. I used to have one of those, and it's not actually too bad of a clone system. Pretty clean image. And then we have an elite controller there for fourteen thousand yen. A Neo Geo Mini, the Christmas edition, I believe, for fifteen thousand. And then an assortment of PlayStation Vitas. And look at this. This one is going to have a four thousand yen discount, but it is pretty scuffed there. So definitely, um, definitely be careful. If you're looking for pristine, this may not be the this may not be the place to get it at. But that piano black, two thousand PSP for nine thousand eight hundred nineteen yen. 
I, you don't really see those in the box uh, all that often anymore. So that could be that could be so so. And then PS5 starting at 43,000 yen. Now, if you're coming visiting Japan, good luck getting that in your luggage because that thing is a monster. Anyhow, let's take a look, a real quick peek at the toys. They had they had aisles and aisles of toys here and be careful, you know, take a closer look or take a close look because you might, you know, they're like they're this, uh, like this Mario, I can't speak, but that Mario there, um, if you're after like uh, gaming figures, that's definitely worth it. But here's the junk section, which I almost missed. In fact, I packed up my camera and I was on my way out, but I decided to do one last walkthrough and then I ran into this, so I had to bust it out again. But here we got some PS3 fats. They also had a PS2 Slim 9000 series for 6000 and some change. And that was definitely worth it. But here we have our GameCubes. Uh, this one is coming in at 5980 with the controller. And the rest of them are going to be less expensive than that. But that PS2 Slim, I actually, I missed it. I, I saw it in the, in the raw footage. And I would have picked that up if I would have uh, been paying closer attention. So definitely be on your guard, be vigilant. Because there's a lot of great stuff in the junk section like this twin stick. Look at that, 1,980 yen and the box looks fairly clean. We have Seaman here for 990, probably missing a few things. And then we have this Pokemon, what is this, Pokemon Snap action there. And look at this, this is the North American version of this ASCII stick. And look at the look at the design on that, that's so, so 90s. So, uh, so... It just reminds me of the 90s hardcore but here we have an arcade stick with some funky buttons i've seen this one before and then here we have the imagineer arcade stick and then behind that we have this fighter stick x by i believe this is oski i have this but i have the street fighter 02 edition which is all white and it's also for the saturn but kind of an interesting design i do like it and then here we are in the junk so showcase. And then here we have this core graphics two for 14,800 yen. If you go to Akihabara or one of the bigger shops, you can definitely expect to add 10,000 uh, yen to that price. But here we have the Optech uh, Commander Pro, this time for the Sega Saturn. We have some Super Game Boy 2s and then the Game Boy Advance uh, battery pack, but 3,480 without the box or with the box for 3,900 or 3,980. So that's not definitely worth it with the box. And then here we have an assortment of 3DS XL systems. And then for 4,980 for the GBA, but the DMG in the back, the green one, it does power up. It was tested, 4,980 yen. Ooh, that thing was tempting. I didn't get it though, but I did get this, um, this pocket and it's gonna be the one with the classic colors coming in at 5,980 yen. It was complete in the box, had all the paperwork. This thing was a beauty and it, uh, it was actually what I was playing while I was out there. But this one was really, really tempting and I did actually pick it up. Um, I picked it up five days uh, after recording this. And that's what I told myself because I wanted to see other game shops in the area to see if I could find it cheaper. And if you look online, you can find it cheaper, but look at this uh, blue Game Gear. If you look online, you could probably find it cheaper, but I had to take advantage and, you know, scoop that up. But anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you very soon. Ciao.